I had these ramps outside of the loading dock door and they were just generally useless. I guess they were designed for like a pickup truck or some maybe low bed truck, but all they did was get in the way of deliveries of from semis or flatbeds or uh, box trucks. And sometimes the wheels were far enough forward that the truck could back up and it would be fine. It would clear the ramps and the, the wheels wouldn't even be on the ramps. But sometimes some semis and some, tru some trucks have the wheels so far back and they're not adjustable. Um, some of the trucks are adjustable, but some of them aren't adjustable. And these same ramps would get in the way. The truck would have to come like to the side and we'd have to try to get in things, things in through the, through the edge of the truck. And they're just generally a pain in the butt. So I have a delivery coming, coming up and so I needed to demolish these before the delivery arrived because I didn't want to have run into problems again with these things. I had never jackhammered anything before. I just went to Home Depot and I rented this uh, Hilti TE 2000 AVR and there were two choices. I think there was a uh, Makita one too and they, said, they told me this one worked better than the Makita one. I'm not exactly sure if there's what the difference is. These were the heads that I got with it. Uh, so the, the tips I got with it and I I, I th actually thought this one would be the most useful tip, but I'm not even sure what this thing is for because I thought it would like break, I thought it would kind of like break chunks off or wedge them off and really all this did was bounce around on there and be hard to control. I didn't have any, I didn't have any control with this head right here. This one, this kind of spear point with a wiggly channel one, this one penetrated really well, but didn't split quite, quite as well, but it was really good at penetrating the concrete and, and digging in deep in there. This one ended up being the best one of the ones I got. So it's like a, it's like a chisel tip, but it's got a point to it. So it, it digs in really, digs in, it starts pretty well, and then it wedges the concrete apart fairly easily. The vibration of this thing didn't feel so bad at first, but man, after a few minutes of doing it and after about taking about two hours to do all of this, Whew, the vibration was intense after a while and I just I really felt bad for anyone who's got to run one of these machines all day long and break up concrete because that is a lot of work and I mean it's not it's not like it's not just work it's a lot of vibration it's it, like I said it's not that bad at first but after a while it builds up and it really just shakes your hands and man my, my, my hand when I would go to release the grip my hand was like felt like it was stuck you know it would just hurt to release it to open up your hand you know props to anyone who does this for for a living and uses one of these a lot because it is rough work and um, I would prefer to have something like a jackhammer attached to a skid loader would be a lot nicer than this one of these um, so to, to also like it created a lot of dust uh, first of all, I wore a good dust mask because to, I didn't want to breathe in the dust. And I also use a very strong fan here to blow across wherever I was uh, jackhammering. And so you can see all this uh, debris, all this white over here, dust that was blown over in that direction versus like there's almost no dust over here. So that kept the dust out of the way when I, where I was working. Overall, it went, it went a lot faster than I expected. Now I still have a lot of cleanup work. I got to pick all this up stuff up and, and dispose of it. It was a lot easier than trying to do it with a sledgehammer. I tried a little bit just with a sledgehammer in the beginning and it was just like, it was a lot of work, with, even more work with a sledgehammer. So I would have never gotten this done with a sledgehammer. Plus like the, it's probably like 12 inches thick over there. So it's really thick. So even with a jack, even with a jackhammer, it took a lot of time to penetrate the 12 inch thickness over there.